Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GC and if you're new here, you're welcome. So today we're going to be talking about how to build your personal makeup kit. So now, I have a video up already on how to build a professional makeup kit. But now this video is talking about, like it's a video for like the everyday day-to-day -day woman that is not a professional makeup artist, but at the same time you would like to do makeup to go to work, go to church, and you don't really know what to buy. This video is for you. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. So today we're going to be talking about what you need in your personal makeup kit. I titled it Personal Makeup Kit Essential. So the essential things you need your makeup kit. I'm going to be telling you what you need, what you don't need, what you shouldn't bother buying. You guys, you know, you know, it's not really everything you see on Instagram you think you should hope to buy. You realize you don't actually need it. So I'm here to help you. So first things first, I'm going to be talking about skin prepping. So skin prepping is basically just prepping your skin skin prep prepping, prepping your skin for the makeup that you are going to apply so you can actually skin prep whether or not you're applying makeup on your face you can just skin prep if you don't want to use makeup you can just skin prep and use powder on your face or use your lip gloss you know team natural beauty <laughs> team natural beauty yeah so you can just skin prep but now i'm going to be telling you guys in details how to actually skin prep so there are four steps the first step is cleansing so now i think it's time for you to get your viral and your paper okay so the first step is cleansing you cleanse your face you you tone you moisturize and you you prime yeah so first off the cleansing so cleansing is basically removing the unseen dirt from your face so let me just say that cleansing is not the same thing as washing your face with soap okay it's not the same thing as using soap to wash your face it's not the same thing as what you do when you have your bath okay cleansing is a deliberate effort with a cleansing water or a cleansing lotion not soap not soap to remove the dirt from your face because most of the personal makeup i realized that most people actually say they've cleansed their face meanwhile they just had their bath and they just went ahead to put on foundation basically so for cleansing you can use your cleansing water and micellar water rose water a cleansing lotion there are a lot of other things i think i will actually film a video to do like affordable nigerian brand um cleansing and skincare things i think that that should be I, I would actually feel that, that that is it about cleansing then the next thing will be toning so toning is really optional so for someone that has spots and everything toning should actually be involved in your everyday skin care and skin prep routine because if you have if you're someone that has spots discoloration toning should actually be involved in your makeup your skin prep routine but now if you do not have like a particular need to to tone like you don't need to remove spots or anything then no need to um, tone if toning if you don't need to tone you don't need to tone okay if you don't have to tone if you don't have anything to like remove what am I even saying if you don't have spots if you don't have discolorations if you don't have any need to like even out your skin you can skip the toning part yeah then the next thing is moisturizer so now let me just say that moisturizing your face is not is not the same thing as using your body cream on your face you guys it is a no no like no don't do it it's not the same thing because i have i, I asked my students okay do you have a moisturizer and they bring out their body cream i'm like no there's a particular moisturizer that is called a facial moisturizer that is tailored for your face because your skin on your face is different from your entire the entire skin on your body yeah, we're not doing any skin class. I'm not a dermatologist, but it is what it is. Your lotion is not your moisturizer. Okay, there are a lot of affordable moisturizing brands. And let me just say that when you're getting your moisturizer for when you're using a moisturizer for makeup, so there's a different moisturizer you use like for um, your skincare routine, and there should be another different moisturizer you use when you are applying makeup because most times those moisturizers. The ones for like really really hydrating your skin it's not really advisable to use that before your foundation because sometimes it just brings a lot of moisture on the face and it doesn't make the foundation sit so i prefer i would advise if you get a moisturizer tailored for makeup then maybe for your other skincare routines like in the night in the daytime when you're not applying makeup you can go ahead to use the other moisturizer for your general skincare routine okay 
There's this thing that people think that if you have very oily skin, you don't moisturize. You guys, that is false. Whether you have oily skin, whether your skin is dripping of oil, you still need to moisturize. So now, your moisturizer is tailored for oily skin. Your moisturizer is tailored for dry skin, for combination skin. So now, it is your assignment to go and do your research and know the kind of skin skin type you have that would you will now okay you will now go and buy the moisturizer that has to that is tailored for your skin type so for your skin type so you don't just say i have an oily skin so i'm not going to use moisturizer no no and oh so the next thing is primer so most times when people hear primer they just say oh mattifying primer actually because majority of us in Nigeria here were like we have super oily skin but then when I talk about primer now so there are different types of primers they're like hydrating primers mattifying primers there are different types of primers so now I have a combination skin so when I'm priming my face I kind of I use the mattifying primer only on my t-zone where the exact primer where where it's oily okay so if you have dry skin you should actually get a hydrating primer so when people say when you hear primer it, it doesn't just necessarily mean oily face priming no like every skin type has different types of um every skin type has different type of primers tailored for their skin so, so if you want me to do like a video showing you like affordable primers and whatnot you guys let me know in the comment section because this is something that i feel people should actually hop on they should actually know their skin type know the product that work for them especially when it has to do with makeup so now this skin prep this skin prepping and everything i've mentioned is very 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 important okay it is the most important thing when you want to start building your makeup kit because without that your makeup wouldn't last you actually do a lot of harm on your skin when you're applying foundation directly on your skin you guys that is a no-no so because you watch this video tell your friends tell everybody you don't apply you don't just use wipes and just apply your body cream then apply your foundation that is why your makeup is not lasting do you understand so now after all this these are like things you need for your skin prep when you apply all this is in the order i mentioned it then you can now go ahead to now buy the liquid illuminator so you know when you see that um glow from within look that we makeup artists get and everything especially misha because i'm the mean, skin. so now after that then these ones are like by the way you don't need to get them except you want to but you can get the um there's a sweat block for like if you don't use sweat a whole lot you can get the sweat block they're like different affordable brands that do the sweat block thing and most of them are nigerian brands so with the exchange rate right now you guys need to really hop on nigerian brand so there's a sweat block there's the liquid illuminator no no you know that glow from within look that makeup artists have like the skin like kind of look yeah but now this is not really important in your kit if you know you don't need it or if you know you don't know how to use it you don't necessarily have to buy it okay don't waste your money rather buy stuff you know you would actually use and next up we are going to your setting spray so there are different types of setting sprays there's mattifying setting spray hydrating setting spray illuminating setting spray so it's always advisable to have all these things because maybe you want to switch up your look from time to time but you don't necessarily have to okay you don't have to buy everything you can just buy maybe the mattifying setting spray because the weather in nigeria here is really like humid it's really hot so you can just buy the mattifying setting spray but also i would also advise you to buy the illuminating setting spray to just in case you make your makeup too cakey or anything the illuminating setting spray would actually hydrate your makeup and make give your makeup that kind of dewy um, look so you can get the dewy that there's a dewy setting spray there's a mattifying setting spray there's hydrating setting spray so you guys you can check what you need or the kind of look you want to achieve then you can buy that okay the next thing would be your foundation now this is a really wide topic like it's actually really wide but i'll just try my best to make it like i because i don't want the video to be too long so for your foundation it's really tricky so now the main thing about building a personal makeup kit is understanding your makeup needs okay if you know you don't like cakey, a cakey look then getting a very full coverage or mattifying foundation wouldn't be the best for you so if you know you don't like the whole dewy skin like kind of look and you like the thick mattifying look getting a lightweight foundation wouldn't be really good for you so it's kind of you just have to know what you like
kind of you kind of have to know your preference know how your skin is know what you like okay this kind of makeup i like i like jewelry makeup i like really matte makeup i don't like glowy skin but i just like everything to be matte then you cannot buy products tailored to your need but also you have to also bear in mind that your skin type matters so if you're somebody that likes jewelry look and you have a really oily face that might be counterproductive because your oil on your face plus your jewelry product might just be dripping like your makeup is going to drip <laughs> drop for your foundation you just have to know the kind of skin you have and what actually works for you if you're someone that has like really oily skin like me well for me i have really oily skin but i use a primer and i also don't like thick a thick foundation so i use a lightweight foundation so i'm a makeup artist i know how to hack all these things and i'm not really a makeup all the time so i kind of know how to hack these things but if you're someone that you don't really have any idea of makeup i would just say that you should just go for you should have a proper consultation with like a makeup artist or a makeup artist to just tell you a makeup artist that knows what they're doing you know, to just tell you okay this is what you need this is what you don't need blah 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 so you need your foundation then the next thing is your concealer so now you know the whole concealer and baking if you know if you know that you don't like all those setting powder all those baking all those highlighting under your eye don't bother buying concealer like save yourself the stress don't follow everything i see on the social media streets don't follow everybody just know that so people actually don't like um the concealer they don't like the setting they just like rub foundation for me rub setting powder let me go that's what some people like and it's okay it's okay to like that kind of thing so you don't have to buy your concealer but there's someone that likes the whole baking full glam look buy your buy a concealer for your personal makeup kit and for your personal makeup i would advise you to just buy don't go too light on your phone on your um, highlighter okay don't go too light you can still go like a shade lighter because most of the time since you're not professional you might not really know how to blend except you're really going to makeup school but i'm talking to, about the average woman that don't you don't really have any idea of makeup you just want to do it but you don't really have any idea so don't just go to too light you can just do like a shade lighter or maybe two shades lighter but don't overdo it okay with your concealer don't go too light because of blending if you can't blend very well you're going to end up looking like a masquerade one thing i would advise you to do is that if you really want under your eye to be like highlighted and you want to have that look where you look brighter somewhat brighter you can actually use your setting powder you don't have to conceal just use your foundation give it a proper coverage and also use your setting powder you can use a setting powder under the eyes like okay so everywhere you're supposed to highlight use a setting powder it would actually give you a more a brighter look because i don't want you to go and use the concealer that you don't now know how to blend it so that's that's one thing i know that people people want to do the most but they don't really know how to do it so that can be disastrous trust me. so now for your setting powder for your setting powder again you have to know what kind of shade you have i see people that are really really dark skin using like really yellow you guys if you take a picture in the night if you do that kind of thing take a picture in the night the flashback game your flashback game is going to be strong so you should know when you are very i think that you actually do a video about this when you are very very dark you should know there are different types of setting powder so because if you're not really in the makeup industry you just think setting powder oh benign oh sasha just yellow one no there are different types of setting powders for different skin types so you have to know the different type of setting powders that suits your skin color okay if you are very 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 light skin and you can to use the kind of um, setting powder that is yellowish obviously your makeup is going to look too they're going to look tanned because of the setting powder even if you get your foundation right even if you get your powder right what is the setting powder that is too yellow trust me you spot your makeup so these things are very very important another thing is that if you know that this one though my power did not reach don't do it it's not by force okay natural beauty is still beautiful so the next thing will be your powder shade you have to have your exact powder shade when before when i couldn't get my powder shade what i used to do i used to use like a very um a darker shade of powder when i did when i couldn't get my foundation shade sorry i used to use like a very dark shade of powder so in case i make my face too white i kind of tone it down but now i have my exact shade of powder and my exact shade of um Foundation. So for my foundation, I use Novan Beauty. That's what I use today. I use Novan Beauty W5, and for my powder, I use Novan Beauty 04 Lagos. So you actually have to know 
what works what and what and what works for you now for your powder make sure you get your exact shade it's always a struggle getting your shade sometimes if you're light skin dark i feel dark skin people have it easy because they have like different range like people find their shade very fast and easy but we light skin people it's kind of hard sometimes it's always very yellow the undertones are always off so when you find your foundation shade just stick to it oh sorry when you find your powder shade just stick to it so for your face routine you need your foundation your concealer your setting powder and your powder also need a darker shade for contouring now if you know that you don't know how to use this contouring if you know that you're not going to learn makeup um, personal like one for a personal makeup class which i offer by the way in abuja i teach personal makeup classes so it can look like this anyway so contouring is not really necessary trust me it's not really necessary people have made it seem like you must contour if you don't contour your face you don't look nice sometimes the facial shape you don't really need to contour because of your kind of facial shape so for personal makeup instead of you to look like a masquerade i would just advise you to just stick to what you know then maybe you can go and learn it and come back and practice so for your darker shade and all the contouring you don't really need to buy that if you know you don't know how to do it okay let's stop normalizing people always trying to do the most and you end up looking like a masquerade when you know that they actually look very very beautiful without makeup we are going to your eyes so now for your eyes you would need your brow pencil or you need a brow gel so now these two are relative so for me i like using a brow pencil because i like the natural kind of brows but you know you're someone that your brows you don't really have brows like that your brows are really really scanty you can actually use the brow gel but it's a thin line between making your brow very thick when you use the brow gel so it's kind of you kind of have to do what works for you you understand so now you need your brow pencil so for now for your brow pencil you need something that would actually that suits your shade so there are different shades of brow pencils that is what people don't know so someone that is very very light you can use a very dark brow pencil and end up like when you look at the person the first thing you're going to see is brows which is not supposed to be so there are different types of brow pencils it's just left to you left for you to figure out okay this is what suits me and that is why you have to follow people like me do you understand that would actually tell you all these things it's not just I feel pain anytime I see people like with bad makeup. I'm like, it's just like how much, how much, how much is makeup class? So just learn makeup and get to that with it. So anyway, so you need your brow pen, so you need your brow gel. Then you would need you also need your concealer to conceal your brows. Okay. So now this one is very very delicate. So now your concealer isn't to conceal your brows. If it's too light, you would just make it look like it's only brows you have on your face. So for beginners, I would advise you to just use your foundation, then gradually move towards using a lighter concealer. But for now, when you're just starting makeup and you just want to learn how to start make start doing makeup, it's always advisable for you to use your foundation shade to conceal your brows. Trust me, you're still going to look nice. You're still going to look nice. You're not a professional makeup artist, so don't try to be like a professional makeup artist, okay? Use your foundation to um, highlight your brows. Do you understand? Next thing is eyeshadow. Now, it is not by force. I just want to say that it is not by force to use eyeshadow. If you know that eyeshadow is not your thing, if you know that you cannot apply this eyeshadow, just use eyeliner like now what i'm wearing right now is eyeliner lashes no eyeshadow whatsoever because i know how to apply eyeshadow but i don't really have the time and personally i don't like eyeshadow on my face i can do eyeshadow on clients and everything because that's my job but i do not like eyeshadow on my face so no do you like do you you don't have to do the most you don't have to do eyeshadow if you don't want to if you don't know, especially if you don't know how to do it don't bother you can just keep it and do your liner the other thing is eyeliner so you have your eyeliner they are liquid liners and they are gel liners so i use gel liners for under the eyes you can use gel liner even though you don't know how to handle like liquid liners because your hands are shaky and everything you can use gel liner it helps control more but liquid the liquid liner is strictly for the top of your lid you don't use liquid liner under your lid do you understand you do not use liquid liner under your lid just the gel liner next thing is lashes now if you know you don't know how to apply lashes it's not by force <laughs> i'm saying this because i know why i'm saying this thing if you know you don't know how to apply lashes like it's a struggle for you it's not by force you can learn it okay i'm not saying you cannot learn it but it is not by force because some people will have very nice makeup but you just see lashes floating up you're like you actually look nicer without these lashes about to fly off from your face so with lashes you don't necessarily need to use lashes 
all you have to get is a very very good mascara make sure you line your eye properly and you're good to go makeup is not that hard you guys makeup is not that hard i'm really pain that's why i'm making this video like you see some things and you're like ah you don't see yourself before you left the house that kind of thing you guys makeup is not by force it's not by force i'm singing it makeup is not by force make sure you get a good mascara sorry and use it on your eye then for lashes if you know you don't like, there are some lashes, there are different types of lashes now. So there are lashes that have really, really, really thick strips. That one is a no-no. Don't buy it, you guys. Like, it's going to frustrate you. And there are lashes that are really, really synthetic, you guys. Don't buy that one. So it's still going to frustrate you. Like, there are good lashes. There are good Nigerian brands. There are, like, good lashes everywhere. If you're going to buy lashes, buy the ones that the strip is really, really, really thin. Do you understand? The strip is really thin. It's going to help you to fix the lashes better. I just want to say this again. So for your liner, you don't use, you use liquid liner on top and you use the gel liner under. The gel liner under is kind of, I kind of advise it. It's actually nice. It helps control everything. And most of them are waterproof. So if you tear, it wouldn't move. But on like using pencil that maybe you tear, it just runs down. Then, bottom lashes, bottom false lashes are not even necessary if you don't know how to fix don't just follow the crowd and do everything. Most of all these things you people do is just for the gram. They don't need to go out. You will just look like a clown when you go out with this kind of things. And the next thing will be for your lips. So you guys, we've almost come to the end of this video. So for your lips, you would need a clear lip gloss. You would need um, a brown lip stain. For people that like a nude, so for me, if I'm going to advise anybody on the kind of lip colors to get, so I would just get, I would just say you should get your favorite lip color, maybe red or blue or purple or pink get that then also get a brown lip stain and a nude lip stain so you can give yourself this kind of ombre lip i have on i just use the brown lip stain and just um um a nude lip lip stain inside then i use the lip gloss so this is just your basic nude so you just can so you can switch it up sometimes do nude do clear gloss do your bright color you guys basically anything you want you don't have to go and buy all the shades of lip gloss all the shades of lipstick just buy the ones you know you really like and the ones you know you would use the next one will be highlighter and blush so these ones are very optional some people don't like Hide the highlighted look like when you make a magic, you see some things that people like and people don't like. You kind of see that people prefer different things. So, so people like highlighter. I've seen it, I had a client that just like the matte look, she doesn't like anything glowing, she just likes the matte. So, people like that. So, you can buy your highlighters. Another thing about highlighting when you want to buy your highlighter, try as much as possible not to buy the one. Some of them that are inside the palette. They kind of when you put them on your hand or when you like test them on your hand they just come up like eyeshadow like they're just too thick i don't know how to really place it but if you know you know like if you use a a like if you use a highlighter that doesn't really blend into your face so you just give you one line when you apply that's not what you want to buy for me right now i'm using bobby brown and um, fenty beauty i always like to invest in my highlighters because i've used highlighters don't expire you can use them for a really really long time and they still last i've had my bobby brown highlighter for like four years now so and it's still there not even hit the pan like it's actually still there so you can just invest i use fenty beauty too i actually mix it that's what you guys can see and i don't really like i don't really like the the slapping kind of highlighter i kind of like it to blend into my skin and give me that rotating look so it depends on what you want if you like the slapping highlighter which is not wearable it doesn't look nice but if you like it please go ahead knock yourself out yeah so the next thing would be your tools like what tools do you need in your kit so now you can use your beauty blender if you know your beauty blender if it, you like using a beauty blender you can use your beauty blender you can also have brushes you can have your foundation brush you can have your beauty blender you can have your powder brush you can also have other brushes for like applying um, eyeshadow and everything but like i said earlier if you do not know how to apply eyeshadow or you don't like it you don't have to buy the brush okay? you can just buy a powder brush a foundation brush use your beauty blender and you're good to go then the remaining brushes you don't have to go and buy all those 15 in one set 12 in one set you don't have to go and buy just buy the ones you need for your personal makeup kit you don't just have to go and buy everything you see a makeup artist use when you're not a professional makeup artist except you have plans on becoming a professional makeup artist but if you don't i don't advise you to do that yeah that is the end of this video these are the things you need in your personal makeup kit 
and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section thanks for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions you guys let me know in the comment section don't forget to follow my pages bristles by using my instagram and my makeup page being fit with using my fitness page don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned anything from this video which i know you did let me know the steps you'll be taking let me know the mistakes you've made thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe you guys don't forget to subscribe bye